Hello students, once again welcome to Bholanath Academy. In this video students, we are going to see the lesson 11 alcohols, phenols and ether. In last video students, we have seen what are alcohols and how they are classified. In this video students, we are going to see the definition of phenols, ethers and its classification. So students, for board examination, they are asking what are phenols, how are they classified. For two marks students, they may ask in board examination. So this way students, you have to represent the answer. What are phenols? When one or more, one or more hydrogen atom of the aromatic aromatic mind well students which hydrocarbon we have taken here aromatic so students when one or more hydrogen atom of the aromatic hydrocarbons are replaced by the hydroxyl group so minus OH we call as hydroxyl group so which means when one or more hydrogen atoms of the aromatic hydrocarbons are replaced by the hydroxy group that is minus OH we call the compound obtained is called phenols. So what would, what would be the definition students? So definition is when one or more hydrogen atoms of the aromatic hydrocarbons are replaced by hydroxyl groups hydroxyl groups if they, you are replacing one hydrogen so there will be one hydroxyl if you are represent, removing two hydrogen atoms of the aromatic hydrocarbons there will be two hydroxyl groups understanding and so on so when the compound obtained we call as phenols say for example this benzene strings alternate double bond this is aromatic in general we call it as what benzene what is the common name strings this is the benzene very f famous example of aromatic compound strings when hydrogen see everywhere there will be one one hydrogen strings when you are replacing this hydrogen you are removing hydrogen and you are adding hydroxyl group so what happens strings the compound which is obtained is called as phenols this is the phenol simple phenol example strings understanding strings you have one of the hydrogen which are present here strings you are removing this hydrogen and you are replacing with hydroxyl group you are adding hydroxyl groups the compound obtained is called as what phenols one more example strings if you are replacing suppose strings this is the another aromatic hydrocarbons that we are going to take that is called as toluene cs3 this whole aromatic hydrocarbon we call as what toluene when one of the hydrogen of here we are replacing with hydroxyl group strings now it is called as paracrisol at para position of this methyl okay students so these are the example students of phenols now students next part of the question is how are they classified so depending upon students depending upon number of hydroxyl group which are present in the phenols they are classified into monohydric if there is a one phenol hydroxyl group if there is a, the phenols contain one hydroxyl group if there is a one hydroxyl group students if there is one hydroxyl group, if phenols contain one hydroxyl group, we call as monohydric phenols. So phenols are classified on the basis of number of hydroxyl group in the compound, in the molecule. They are classified into monohydric, dihydric and polyhydric phenols. This aromatic compound is containing only one and the hydroxyl group we call as what? Phenols. Very simple example of monohydric alcohol is what? Phenols. See, this is the aromatic hydrocarbons okay students this is the aromatic hydrocarbon systems when one of the hydrogen we are replacing with hydroxyl group this is called as one naphthol ol group is there at position number one we call as what one naphthol understanding students so this way students we have classified monohydric these are the examples i am showing students so first example is phenol second you can say one naphthol understanding students one more example students Suppose this is the toluene you have taken students. This is the toluene structure, CS3. This is the hydrocarbon students. This is which type of hydrocarbons? It is aromatic. It gives aroma. That is why we call as what aromatic hydrocarbons. Now one of the hydrogen which are present here students at at uh, ortho position of this hydrogen students. This now we are replacing with hydroxyl group. This is nothing but ortho -crisol. These are the example because all the molecules are containing one one hydroxyl group. We call as monohydric phenols. So all our phenols students three types of phenols I have shown because all the molecules are containing one hydroxyl group this is called as monohydric phenols. Now students one more example of phenols we are going to see students that is called as dihydric phenols. Now students in this molecule of the phenols students it will contain two hydroxyl group. How many? It will contains two hydroxyl groups. Understanding students the compound obtained is called as what dihydric. Example students very very important example students. So here students this is the benzene students. If one of the hydrogen you are replacing with the hydroxyl group 
and adjacent to here hydrogen is also you are replacing with hydroxyl group now means now in this molecule it means you have two hydroxyl group that is why it is now this phenols belongs to dihydric phenols now what will be the name students in common name we call as catechol is the dihydric phenols students sometimes they may ask in board examination they are belongs to which category so catechol belongs to dihydric phenols understanding students find the match the column they may ask in board examination so dihydric phenols example will be catechol one more example students in board examination they may ask see this is the again students benzene ring now students one of the hydrogen of this benzene now i am replacing with hydroxyl group and now students just remove this place and the hydrogen of here now we are going to replace with hydroxyl group okay students so students now what will the name students when there is a two hydroxyl group but there is a difference of one carbon so this compound is called as resorcinol example of dihydric so catechol and resorcinol these two molecules are you can say these two phenols belongs to dihydric phenols why this molecule is containing two two hydroxyl group understanding students so these are the example students so catechol and resorcinol belongs to dihydric phenols now students we are going to see trihydric phenols now very famous example of trihydric phenols now students simple students this is the aromatic that is benzene is the aromatic hydrocarbons now here students we are replacing this hyd hydrogen by hydroxyl now leave this and hydrogen of this benzene you are replacing with hydroxyl again you just leave and hydrogen there is a alternate hydroxyl groups are there students so this is compound we call as fluoroglycinol fluoroglycinol belongs to trihydroxyl phenols because it containing how many hydroxyl group students total how many three so the phenols is containing three hydroxyl group if contains three hydroxyl groups we called as trihydric phenols understanding students so if the phenols are molecules which contains three hydroxyl group it belongs to trihydric and trihydric phenols example is will be the fluoroglycinol next they may again ask in board examination how, what are ethers and how are they classified in board examination they may ask for two marks question so first you have to write down the definition after definition students have to classify the ether so this way students in board examination you are going to represent the answer again students the wording is the same when one hydrogen only one hydrogen we are talking about hydrogen atom of alkane or you can say benzene hydrogen atom of one hydrogen mind well students here the one hydrogen is very important when one hydrogen atom of alkane or you can say benzene you are replacing by alkoxy group this is alkyl with oxygen is called as what alkoxy group when one hydrogen atom of alkane or benzene is replaced by alkoxy group the compound obtains are called as ethers suppose you have alkane students we are going to represent with this is the formula of alkane students this is alkane when one hydrogen this hydrogen you are replacing this hydrogen will go and you are replacing with alkoxy group the compound obtained is called as what ether understanding students so this will be the ether students so you can prepare so many ethers students one more example students for ether if you are replacing ch3 so this is nothing but methane students this is the methane when one of the hydrogen of methane you are replacing with you are removing this hydrogen and you are adding alkoxy group you are adding alkoxy group so compound obtained is called as what ch3o in alkoxy students you can take the example of methoxy suppose here you are students ch3 this is methoxy students so compound obtained we call as what dimethyl ether this is called as what dimethyl ether similarly students when one more example students if you are replacing the hydrogen you are replacing the hydrogen of this benzene by alkoxy group or uh, you can say methoxy group so o ch3 this is the methoxy students the compound obtained is called as what anisole this is the example of anisole understanding students so here students i have given two example that is dimethyl ether and here it is what when hydrogen of benzene you are replacing by methoxy group the compound is what anisole understanding so this is the example students you can in board examination only this example if you write that is also correct this part is only for the your explanation understanding so this this is the first example and this is what second example understanding students when one hydrogen atom of alkane this is the alkane students are replaced by alkoxy group the compound obtained is called as what ether so this this two example i have given here students classification of ether now here students how you are going to classify ether students on the basis of attachment of groups to the oxygen atom see students oxygen is what divalent oxygen is divalent it has got two valency so which groups are attached to the oxygen on the basis of that it is classified into two categories students first is simple ether or you can say symmetrical ether so students ethers in which both alkyl or you can say allyl groups attached to the oxygen atom are the same or called as what simple ether so students oxygen has got two valency if you are replacing 
by these two valency by alkyl alkyl group this is the example of what simple ether oxygen has two valency students if you are one you are replacing with aryl group here also aryl here also aryl the compound is also called as what simple ether so these are the example students so these are the general example i have given students you in board examination you can write like this so here you alkyl instead of alkyl i have taken methyl here also i have taken methyl so this is nothing but dimethyl ether so which if you are replacing with ethyl so it will become diethyl ether so this is the example students you can write so dimethyl ether i have given the example if you are replacing alkyl group instead of alkyl group if you are replacing with aryl group that is that is benzyl group so this is the example of simple ether students di phenyl ether okay students second type is called as mixed or unsymmetrical ether the ethers in which the two alkyl or aryl groups attached to the oxygen atoms are different the ethers in which two alkyl or aryl group we are going to replace the valency oxygen atom has got two valency students by two alkyl or aryl groups two atoms are different are called as what mixed ether example students oxygen has got two valency one valency see here the word is what different two different different alkyl group suppose here it is methyl second should be what ethyl understanding students so this is the example of mixed ether students so what will be the name students this compound is belongs to this molecule of ether is belongs to mixed ether because different different groups are attached ethyl e we are represent ethyl we are represent ethyl methyl ether okay students now one more example students here students suppose one you are replacing with ethyl one valency of oxygen you are replacing with ethyl other with benzyl so this is nothing but in common name we call as what anisole anisole is belongs to mixed uh, unsymmetrical ether understanding students so these are the example i have given students in general you can write students here oxygen has got two valency if there is a what one alkyl group second will be different alkyl group so this is the general students in general you can say this compound is belongs to this is the ether and it is belongs to mixed ether understanding students so here also you can write here if it is aryl so other may be alkyl understanding students so in general you can say like this this way you are going to represent students these are very important for the examination point of view if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you